What's up everyone? Today we're going to be talking to all you Keys players about how you can use the MIDI out feature in Prime to automate your patch changes in main stage. The first thing you're going to need to do is do a spotlight search for audio MIDI setup. Double click that to open it and then click window in the top left corner and then show MIDI studio. In this window, the important thing here is the IAC driver. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have this turned on and it's gonna allow main stage to communicate with Prime on the same computer. So double click that and then this window will pop up and you'll need to just check this box to turn on the IAC driver. Once that's checked, then you're good to go. Uh, from there, you can just get right into main stage and, uh, and we'll keep moving. So here's my main stage template. It's very simple. I've only got a couple of patches in here loaded right now, but you might have upwards of, you know, 10 to 20 patches, depending on how large your worship set is. Um, first thing you're going to want to do in main stage is go to preferences and then MIDI. This setting right here is what you're going to want to look at. Program change range. I have it set to zero, but by default, I think it's set to one. You're just going to make sure that that is set to zero because that'll match the settings of prime. Prime by default sets its program changes starting at zero and then goes from there. So you just want to make sure that this matches up with Prime so that all of your program changes align. Uh, so make sure that's set to zero. And then from there, take a look again at your patches on the left hand side of your screen. Right click within this window and click on show bank and program numbers. What this is going to do is show right here on the right hand side of each patch the program change number that's associated with each patch. So you can set this number by clicking on the patch and then changing this value right here next to program change. So I'm just going to start with one, my first patch, then on my second, then with two. And you can see that these values right here switched accordingly. So that's going to make it real easy. You know, when you're glancing at your main stage concert from afar, you can very quickly tell which patch um, will be triggered by which program change command. So from there, we're going to jump into Prime and set up our program change MIDI cues in Prime and you'll be good to go. So we've got Prime opened up. I've got a community track for Living Hope by Phil Wickham loaded in and we're going to get our MIDI cues set up. So the first thing you need to do when in Prime click on the settings in the top right corner and set the MIDI cues connections to the IAC driver. Should be the one listed since you've turned that on. If there's nothing there, it's just an indication that you probably need to go back in and make sure that IAC driver is turned on. After it's turned on, this should appear. Click on IAC driver and you'll be connected and ready to go. Next, all you need to do is add your MIDI cues. So to do that, just click edit, edit MIDI cues and I'm going to add a couple of program changes late here in the song. So I'm going to select program change. Now the note, this is going to be what you use to trigger specific patches in main stage. If you remember, we assigned uh, program change one to that first patch. So for this one, I'm going to select one. And then I'm going to click and drag this to the start of this section. Now at the end of this tag, I know things are going to start ramping up instrumentally, so I'm going to drop in another program change here and select note two, and then drag this to the end of the tag section. You're going to want to make sure that you have these MIDI cues synced up to either the top of the section or the very end of the section so that as your patches change, you're still perfectly on beat and in time with the arrangement. Um, so that's something to keep in mind when you're mapping these changes. So once you've got these MIDI cues in place, you're good to go. When that playhead passes over these section markers in Prime, that program change MIDI cue is going to be sent to main stage and it'll change the patch for you without you having to lift your fingers from the keyboard. Uh, we've got one here, so I'm going to show you now what that looks like. 